Welcome once again to BamaFever.com. I'm Chris Stewart at Coleman Coliseum after the Crimson Tide 62-50 win over the Tennessee Volunteers here this afternoon. Great win for Anthony Grant's team. Not only are they still without Jermichael Green and Tony Mitchell because of indefinite suspensions, but you had Andrew Steele injuring an ankle earlier in the week. His availability was in question. You had Trevor Relliford who took a, a shot to the head in practice earlier in the week. Didn't practice yesterday. His availability very much in question. You didn't have Nick Jacobs available. After Green and Mitchell, your best post option for the Crimson Tide because he had a uh, mouth injury and had to have a root canal earlier in the week and still suffering the effects of that, he was not able to go in the game. So what do you do? Well, you call on two seven-footers who have had limited action for the Crimson Tide this year, but they turned in their best performances in Alabama uniforms. Musa Gay got his first start, had just two points, two rebounds though, and six block shots and altered so many others in 16 minutes of playing time today. And career best for Carl Engstrom in both points and rebounds, seven points, seven boards. He goes 23 minutes in helping the Crimson Tide to the 12 point win over the Volunteers. Trevor Lacey though, a huge key in this game. The freshman out of Butler High School in Huntsville, Alabama, a two time Mr. Basketball in the state. A great effort today. Had to start at the point because Relliford did not uh, get the start in this game while Relliford did play 27 minutes. As I said, didn't get the starting nod. So it's Lacey running the point and his aggressiveness on the offensive end was huge in the first half. Goes for about a dozen points, finished with 18 for the game. He also had four steals in 34 minutes of action. It's great to see him have a little bounce in his step offensively, able to create, got, a, uh, got to the free throw line a lot. He goes 9 of 12 from the stripe, and I thought that was a big key for the tide in this one. The ability to get to the free throw line, they go 23 of 30 for the game from the charity stripe, while Tennessee goes 16 of uh, 24 from the, uh, the free throw line. So Bama able to get the job done at the free throw line, able to get the job done again without Tony Mitchell and Jermichael Green, and may have salvaged their uh, NCAA tournament hopes with a win here today as they improve to 17 and nine, get back to 500 in conference play, get a little bit of a chance to heal up and rest up before they have a Thursday night game at Arkansas. That's a place where, at least going into today's action, the Saturday games, Arkansas had not lost at home. So uh, a big challenge for Alabama on Thursday against the Hogs. We will have a report from there, and you'll be able to see it here on BamaFever.com. We'll talk to you uh, again from Sewell Thomas Stadium. That's the home of Bama baseball. The Tide trying to salvage a game in its best of three series on a Sunday, and we'll recap that one for you. That's coming up next. I'm Chris Stewart, again, for BamaFever.com.